In the 100 to Michael McKillop perhaps for gold in the 800. Let's see if Ireland can do it for two races in a row. Majid Jumai, fourth here in London 2012 in this stadium, fifth in Lyon back in 2013 goes from lane nine. Abbas Saidi of Tunisia. Gold medalist in 2016, over 1,500 metres, struggled over 800 metres, so this may be a little bit too short for him. Dion Kenzie of Australia, seventh in Doha back in 2015, the man from Bernie in Tasmania. Silver in 2016 in Rio, over 1,500 metres. Abdul Karim Cry, only 20 years of age, the Algerian. The nerves hopefully won't get the better of him. Liam Stanley. Canadian silver over 1,500 metres in Rio. He went to the Rio Games as a Canadian para soccer team, failed to qualify, meaning he went through athletics instead. Michael McKillop, four para goals, two European Championship goals, seven World Championship goals, including this in 2015. And in lane three, Louis Radius of France, 2016 European champion. Bronze in this event in 2015 behind McKillop. And in lane two, Jose Luis Pizarrijo. And he took up para-athletics last year, able-bodied since 2009, before that. That man there, the first male athlete to set a world record at this stadium during the test event in May 2012. <laughs> Away they go. Now McKillop in one of his earlier events here. Took his time, was leisurely with his pace. Doing something similar here, but that's what he does. He always has the nous to know how to run. Dion Kenzie was the one who got out first there and has taken an early lead as he moves in. The Australian towards the 200 meter mark on this opening lap. Going through in just under 30 seconds. Dion Kenzie leads from McKillop, who's in second. And is Abbas Saidi in third place at the moment with Liam Stanley of Canada. Coming round in fourth. So Kenzie, McKillop, Stanley in fourth, and ahead of him, Abbas Saidi. With one lap remaining in this men's 800 metres T38 final. Expect the pace to quicken somewhat as they move in to the last 250 metres. McKillop just looking to come around the outside of Dion Kenzie as he does at the moment, but Kenzie has responded in kind. Liam Stanley of Canada, well, he's making quite a decent run now. He's already taken off. Has he gone too early though? Saeed's also there coming around in the red shorts. But it was Michael McKillop who moves to the front. Dion Kenzie in second place. Liam Stanley of Canada, though. He's got a grin just quietly bumping in there to Dion Kenzie, who really needs to get around that corner quickly. But Liam Stanley is keeping hold of Michael McKillop. Jason Smith won gold for Ireland in the last race on the track. Can he make it? A second gold medal for Ireland here in the men's T38, 800 metres. McKillop is out in front. He's stretching the legs home. He's 10, 12, 13 metres in front. Liam Stanley, is he holding on for silver? He's struggling somewhat. Dion Kenzie comes up on the inside, but it's McKillop across. Well, Liam Stanley's fallen five metres before the line as Dion Kenzie comes across and takes the silver medal. And it looks like Saidi has come home from Tunisia to pick up the bronze medal. But Liam Stanley, you can see him with a wobble towards the end when he was looking to try and get the silver medal. McKillop is flat out on the ground. A season best for the Irishman of two minutes, 0.92. Well, he's happy. He's got the win. He's defended that championship title. Dion Kenzie picks up the silver, but disappointment for Canada's Liam Stanley. He was brave. He was hard, he went out, he tried to get it, but he fell moments before the line. Michael McKillop and Jason Smith, two para world champions, brilliant athletes, brilliant ambassadors for the sport, and look at them doing a lap of honour with each other. As Dion Kenzie and the silver medalist and Saidi, who picked up the bronze, just embraced Saidi, he couldn't believe his life. Liam Stanley, 
Very sad indeed for him because he looked like he was going to be in the medals, Vanessa Lowe, but he just missed out as Smith and McKillop do their lap of honour. Isn't that just amazing that those two athletes can share the memory together, can actually do their lap together to celebrate their win. Just, just perfect. Well, here is McKillop as he comes around into the final straight. You can see Liam Stanley there. He's starting to tie up somewhat. He looks over his shoulder. He sees Dion Kenzie coming. He tries to kick again. And with that, tries to kick so hard that he gets into a bit of trouble. This, of course, uh, coordination impairment. And then lactic acid kicks in. He just clips his own heels there before the line. And Saidi, you can see how happy he was. He comes across in third place. This will give us a really good angle on it. It's McKillop there. Kenzie of Australia on the inside. And just there's Liam Stanley. He was only five metres away from World Para-Athletic Championship glory with a medal. And a disappointment indeed. But no such disappointment for that man, Michael McKillop. It's definitely the hardest fight he's ever had among his eight World Championship titles now in his four Paralympic rounds. McKillop, a real national hero in Ireland, alongside Jason Smith and so many tonight have come across the RSC to watch this man win another world title. But he had to fight for it, Kenzie particularly, pushing him all the way. Saini, the unfortunate Liam Stanley, but McKillop is there, a world champion once more. And why wouldn't he collapse? That was a very big run indeed. And there it is, a season best for Michael McKillop, who retained.